Yes, so today is a very special day. Um, starting today for the next few videos of December, it's going to be more of a vlogging style. Because um, since it is the holidays, I want to be a little more um, chill with my videos. So that is um, it. So I'm not really showing my face today because it's not in the best condition right now. So I hope you don't mind. But today's video is going to be super exciting. We're going to be sharing with you or I'm going to be sharing with you more of my goals. So a few weeks ago, I did um, a goals video, which I will link for you, um, on how to organize and um, set your goals. And then today I'll be doing a more in-depth and focusing on my own goals. So you can check that out. Um, if you haven't been to my channel, my name is Holly from Life with Holly Lifestyles. Um, I'd love to share with you my life as an entrepreneur, my tips and tricks for business through YouTube. So without further ado, let's get in. So you, if you haven't watched the video yet, it's this one right here, how to set your goals and organize them. So I did more of a foundation of how to set your goals. And then today I'll be actually going through my own goals and try to explain to you how I do it and my process on that. So the first things I'm gonna do is to figure out my um, topics and categories. So first my topics will definitely be work, so I'm just gonna use a random piece of paper to write this down as brainstorming, and then I'll translate it to um, the goals page that I provided you in the last video, which I'll also link down below. Um, so um, there's work and there's basically personal. I think these are the two things I want to focus on the most, and if I have little ones coming up, I can just add that on um, as I go. So now that I got the two topics up and running, I have to figure out the subcategories and categories in general. So for example, personal, there might be um, fitness goals that I have, there might be finance goals that I have, um, there might be just random goals. And then for work, I have Sparkle and White, which is my design company. And if you need any designs, let me know, I'd love to help you. Um, and my um, point on which is my stationery company and last but not least is this channel right here which is life with Holly sorry my writing is really ugly right now because I am filming with one hand and trying to write with the other so now that I have all three or all the main um, categories I probably have more for personal but I can't think of them at the top of my head but that's fine because I can always come back and brainstorm again and revise and try again um, but that's pretty good so we have that so now I'm going to go through each of these categories and brainstorm whatever is in my mind so for example fitness I want to lose uh, I'm going to say just 30 pounds even though that's probably a little too much and I probably won't do it um, drink more water might be one. So this is basically health and fitness. I don't know what I'm gonna say. Health and fitness. Drink water. Um, exercise two times a week, which I have been trying already. Doesn't really work that well. Finance savings. Um, I don't know. So random might be take an art class. Okay, so here is something I can talk about a little more. So for example, if I want to take an art class as a goal for 2020, first I have to save some money up. So this is where um, things kind of connect in a way. So savings will be like taking an art class. So then when I do my in-depth um, goals, I can show you how I will connect these together. So there's that, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the work side of things, and I'll come back. So I'm still writing away, but um, I just wanted to s explain that I actually have goals from previous, um, from this year, so um, it's easier for me to write these goals because I already have something to work with. So if you're looking for something that you're um, not sure what you wanna write about, I do recommend thinking of things like um, for example, if you have a YouTube channel, you'll think how many, um, what do you call it, subscribers do you want by the end of that year, um, how many clients you want, how much money you want to make, so I do have money right here that I haven't filled yet, um, so there's things like that, um, but for my goals, I actually have pages of that already in here, 
Um, I don't think I can show you, but I'll kind of show you an example. I um, already have these in here for a while now. And I basically went from 2019 and then I kind of updated for 2020. So there's something like this. So for example, my goals could be social media. I want so-and-so followers. I want to add, make sure that I um, update my portfolio every time I do a client work. And then um, for my clients, I want to be able to upload resources. So those are things that I want to do for 2020. So I'll definitely be writing all that in here. So client, and then here's resources, and welcome gifts. That's something that I've always wanted to incorporate for my design clients. And I think that's it for now. So yeah, so we're gonna go. Um, so I have enough to talk to you about with um, the goal sheet. So. If you saw that last video, I was giving away this free printable. It's super cute. Um, it's really close to my branding and um, it basically lists out um, quarterly. So it's quarter one to four. So it's every three months and you can just print that out, write your own goals. Um, I'll link it down below. It's free. And yeah, so I'm going to go through this and show you kind of how I will use my brainstorming and add that into these um Okay, so I'm gonna look at my list. Um, so let's try to go with the easier stuff. So I'm gonna go through the personal section right here. Um, so health and fitness is something that I probably have to overview and look at every um, month or week. So maybe, for, for example, I'm gonna look at lose 30 pounds. So I'm gonna think about how hard is it to lose pounds? Um, I believe I was told you can lose at least one pound a week. So therefore, I'm gonna say four to five pounds a month. So to get the goal of losing 30 pounds, I'll probably be six months. So every month I will have to lose a certain amount of pounds. So maybe my top quarterly goal, so this on the top right here um, is your top three goals. Um, if I want to focus on health and fitness for the first six months, which is the first two quarters, I'm going to write in here, lose 15 pounds for each quarter. So there's that. Lose 15 pounds. So every week or every month I have to lose at least five pounds and um, that's pretty much a top goal. So. Um, I would write that in every single month. So I'll be like, lose five pounds. And in order for that to happen, I should exercise two times a week. Um, drink a certain amount of water. So I'm going to say drink three cups per day. So these goals will... Um, correspond with my weekly or daily inserts so that way I can make sure that I'm drinking and exercising those weeks or I have my own little inserts that tell me that at the same time so I'll probably have to write this for all the months since um, it's for the first six months so there's that um, next thing I might have is savings so for example if I want to take an art class uh, I have to figure out when the class is I believe classes are every um, season, I guess. So there's a winter classes, there's spring classes, and there's summer classes. So right now I don't have any money for that. So I need to start saving. So I'm going to get a goal that I will save for the summertime to take that class. So right here, I'll have to write, um, um, what is it? Apply, not apply. What is the word? Uh, register for art class so that way in my first two quarter goals I will have to um, save money so for example class might be $500 so I'm gonna save $500 so I'm gonna say I'm gonna give myself some time and room to save money so every quarter I'm going to save $250 Save two fifty and then save two fifty 
and hopefully by the end of May and June, I'll have that money and I can register for it in July and head to class. So that's super nice. Um, what else do we have here? So those are like the personal goals. So those are more simple because those can be skewed around and you can flip them around. And if they don't really go well, which is totally normal, it's totally fine. You can try again in the next quarter or something like that. So now we're going to go with the work kind of goals so this one might be a little harder so in order to make certain amounts of money per month I have to think about my services and how much they cost and how many how much of each of those services I need to be able to make that um, goal and other than that, I want to bring up back my one-on-one -on -one, um, Instagram flat light courses and then eventually do a group one and maybe even in the near future do online one, which is super cool. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure to follow Sparkle and Light or let me know um, on Life with Holly on Instagram. That would be super cool to be able to teach online. Um, other than that, I will add those in here. So for example, if... Um, I want to do my Instagram flat lay. I'll probably have to start working on it again in January. So I'm going to write IG flat lay. And then I'll t give myself maybe like two months to work on that. And then in March, try to do a group one. And promote that in February. So in February, the promote group. And then maybe by the end of June I, or May, I can start working on online. Online. Uh, IG flat lay. And then maybe near summertime or fall time is when I release. So I'm going to release this. So sometimes I even write the timeline of how I think things are going to happen so that um, I will have, when I look at it, I know kind of like, oh, maybe I should start working on this, start working on this. And that kind of helps too. So there is that. And then other things I have to do are like for Point Hunt, if I'm doing leather products, I have to do things way in advance since... Um, and getting samples back and forth can take a very long time and I normally give myself two months to work on um, right now I'm actually working on some new stuff and that's that's something I've been working on for the past few months so um, I probably will be working on these for like maybe six months at the most um, so that's super exciting so there's that and then other than that that's pretty much it there's not too much to do I'll probably finish this off the end of today or um, another day depending on how many how much I can do for one day but other than that that's pretty much it I hope that really helped in some way to kind of see exactly how I'm doing this um, it definitely is definitely something you have to practice on and this has been what I've been doing for a few years now so definitely can be a little hard to get through this so if you ever have any questions you can always follow me at life with holly lifestyles on instagram and feel free to dm me if you have any questions so that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and helped you in any way if you want to um pick this freebie up make sure to um find it in the description down below and i'll hope to see you in my next video bye